On ODT Sports Chat today, we're back at the Edgar Centre. We're on the second in our series on netball. We're going to be covering the College A versus uh, Southern Magpies game. And we're also going to catch up with some of the uh, 100 years of um, New Zealand netball. There's a, quite a few awards being handed out today, so we'll cover a bit of that as well. And that's, uh, But make sure you stay with us. We're just out of the Edgar Centre and I'm with Leanne Anderson who runs um, Dunedin Netball. We're here today to basically to celebrate a hundred years of netball and there's quite a few presentations going to be handed out here shortly. So I've got Leanne with me just to describe what's going on today. Yeah, thanks Paul. It's the um, Netball New Zealand centenary. So on Tuesday they celebrated a hundred years. Um, netball, um, Dunedin Netball actually celebrated a hundred years in 2000, uh, 2015. So um, we've got a few years on them. Um, but yeah, today's all about celebrating our Netball New Zealand um, awardees, so service award holders and life members, and we're really lucky we've got Dame Lois Muir coming today. So, and so, what, what, so they've already been presented these awards over the years, but they're actually, you're, you're actually handing out a, like a special centennial um, badge, plus they're actually getting a certificate, is that correct? Yeah, so previously when they've been awarded, they've been awarded a badge. Um, so they never received a certificate, so they've been individually um, named certificates that we'll be handing out and a centenary badge as a, um, a memory of the, the celebration today. And, and a lot of, and a lot, because a lot of these awardees will, will, will have passed on, obviously, because it's been going for again, as you said, you're over 100 years. But so we've obviously, I think we've got members of, of their families are going to collect the awards on their behalf. Absolutely. So we've got lots of family members that are here. Um, we've got um, nieces and nephews, um, daughters, sons. Um, it's uh, husbands. It's a really exciting day to be here to celebrate with everyone. Okay. Well, look. Thanks for talking to us, Leanne, and hopefully, hopefully the days goes well. I'm just up on the first floor at the Edgar Centre. I've just been witnessing the. Uh, they've just had a special presentation to New Zealand Netball Service Awards. And, they, and they, apparently, what, what's happened is a lot of these ladies have um, have got have got badges over the years. But the, the fact that it's the New Zealand Centennial. Um, 100 years of netball in New Zealand, they've decided to present certificates. So with me, I've got Nikki Patterson, who's actually got actually got an award. So Nikki, when did you get your service award? Uh, I got mine in 2023, so just last year, which was a lovely surprise. And you've been in, you've been involved with netball for a million years, basically, haven't you? And you're, and you're still coaching today. Yes, um, probably far too long. Started off as a um, player for the university club in 1987. And we had a coach that basically told us that if we didn't coach, we wouldn't be in the team. So that's, that's a good, that's yeah. a motivation. Yeah. So um, I'm still here and um, got a game in, a, in about 45 minutes. So. And, you're, and you're coaching the Fazette A team. A. How are they going so far this year? Uh, we've had uh, two wins and one loss. Who did you lose to? We lost to college. And they're still unbeaten. Are out there playing now. Correct, yeah. So um, it's going to be a good competition, I think. With, um, we've got St Hilda's today, but all the games are tough, as you know, you know yep. what that's like. So we'll put, put our best out there. Okay, and I've got, um, I've got Millie Scully, who, presented, uh, who actually received the award on, on behalf of her mother, who I think's um, in Invercargill at your grandmother's 80th birthday. Yep, yep, she's down in Invercargill, so can't be here today, but yeah, she got hers in 2021, so and, very proud. And she's like and she's like Nikki, she's been around the uh, netball scene for a long, long time and still coaching as well. Yep, she's coaching Nikki uh, this year as well for ZA, which it's going to be good, but yeah. And you're playing for, for ZA today? Yeah. How have you, how's your form so far this season? Yeah, not too bad, I hope. Um, no, coach is here. She, so. she, got, she got MVP last week, so it's pretty good. <laughs> good work. And I've also got Deb Tarsi Courts with him. So, Deb, now you just um, received an award on behalf of your grandmother, Lena McTaggart. Tell us a wee bit about um, Lena. Yeah, Lena was cool. She was one of the first down here in Otago to get the New Zealand Service Award um, way back in the, I don't even know when it was, but um, she was amazing. She coached, umpired, played played for New Zealand years ago, so um, pretty special lady. So it's so a pretty special day for you. 
Yeah, I'm so proud, um, as are the whole family, and there's a few of us that have kind of followed in her footsteps and, and taken netball on and really enjoyed it. So are you still, uh, are you still involved in netball circles as well? I sure am. So I'm coaching the Otago Girls Senior A netball team. So we're in Prem B at the moment. Um, quite a young team, but we're we're holding our own. Um, we've had one win and three losses so far. So that's where I'm coaching locally at the moment. Okay, cool. Look, and we'll be back with you again sh- very shortly. We're back, back upstairs and the, award, the awards presentation is finished but I thought I'd catch up with one of the uh, service award winners and I'm with Doreen Tucker who got, actually got her service award in 2004. So, and Doreen also, apparently you're a life member of Dunedin Netball and Albion? Yes, that's right. So, um, go, so you obviously you played for Albion back in the day? I did, yes. Can you give me some years you played for Albion? I d- didn't play for Albion. Um, uh, I was actually uh, manager of the the Albion team, right. which won the Caltex Cup, which is the club netball um, senior service on, uh, during the whole of New Zealand. Oh, that, so that was a that was a that would have been a pretty big year for Albion. Yes, it was. So and but you've been but you've been a lifelong you've been you've been working in netball and you you were in charge of the control room for a long period of time so nearly fifty years they were telling me that's right and do they name it up have they na- now named that after you they did yeah so you've been tied up in netball for fifty or sixty years and and and, that, and now it's um they just had their centenary so that must have been a pretty proud week for you it was yes I um, um, have remembered quite a few. Um, Participants, shall we say? Yep. Uh, in um, netball, and when they were handing out the service awards before, I thought one of those people taught me when I was at school. <laughs> well, I mean, because I mean, a lot of those, a lot of those, a lot of these were handed out post post obviously today. But yeah, but you're you're talking about a whole, you know, generation after generation of netball, aren't we? Yes, yes, a long time. Yes, I, I gave up the the um, office job yep. um, when I was in my mid eighties. Okay, well, look, look, congratulations! Thanks for talking to us, and congratulations on they've they finally given you a, an actual certificate and a new badge to go with it. So um, have a great have a great old day. Thank you. Just witnessed the game between College A and the uh, the Southern Magpies, and I've got the coach and captain. I've got uh, Lauren Pye being the coach. Congratulations, coach! Thank you very much. And I've got the uh, the captain of the College A team, Poppy Kilworth. So, Poppy, we'll start with you. Yeah. That was a bit closer than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, we definitely made it hard for ourselves at the end by giving away a bit of ball, but. We still got there, so that's the important thing. So 53-48, so you're still unbeaten, so the season's obviously going pretty well for you. Yeah, definitely. We've had a close couple seasons the last two years, so I think we're hoping for a spot in the final this year. So, and, and it looks like it could be you and Uni, El, Uni Albion at this yeah. stage? Uh, I don't want to jinx it. Right. So. <laughs> Right, so look, um, I'll bring um, the coach in. So, Lauren, so um, well, you, you probably wouldn't have been overly happy with that performance. Uh, it was good to get it across the line, but we um, gave them too much ball uh, with a few loose passes throughout. But we're still building combinations and with our in and our players out, still working on finding our groove and um, on both attack and D. So. Right, so um, what's the standard like this year compared with previous years? Is it still, is, is it still right up there? Yeah, I think so. Look, it's always tight at the top between um, some teams, and we've got 
you know, with our school teams in there, we've got new blood coming through all the time, whereas in our club teams, we're lucky to have a bit more stability with our players returning. So there's a wee bit of a gap there this year, but um, look, everybody's growing and learning along the way, so it's... So the three top teams, will, well, looking, it'll be Uni, it'll be Uni Albion, it'll be yourselves and probably, and probably be the Z. Yeah, I would think so. We had a really close game with them. Um, again, we had a good lead and they came back at us. So, um, yeah, they look to be right up there as well. OK, so just we'll just finish with you. We'll talk back to the skipper. So are you happy, are you happy enough with the girls so far this season? Or have you had to tune them up a bit? No, definitely happy with them. The connections are starting to come more and more every week. I think they're ready, ready for King's birthday weekend off and then come back far. Can't believe you get a weekend off. I know, I know. We'll miss it though. Right, -o. well congratulations, well done. Thank you. And thanks for talking to me.